Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be colouring in this little jug of lemonade. Um, this is from Johanna Basford's um, Worlds of Wonder and it's just something a little bit different. I thought it would be good fun. Um, oh, sorry, just moving a chair out of my way. I'm going to be using my Arteza um, Premium this, um, these pencils. Now I've now come to understand that there are two different sets of these. Um, this is my set. If you have a quick look, you notice I have Jasmine, Sapphire, Lemon, Turmeric. Um, you will find that if you look at your set, you'll know if it's the same set or not because some of them have different colours. Some of the colours are the same and some of them are different. It depends whether you buy them from the UK or the US, whether you buy them from Amazon or whether you buy them from Arteza. I think one of the sets is going to be taking over as the new set. But um, until then, um, we've just got to, I've just got to use what I've got really and hopefully you, you may have this set or you may not. So we'll just have to go with it and see what happens. So here's my, my um, jug of lemonade and my cups. Now the first thing I'm going to do is colour in the liquid and I want this to be quite pale because I want the lemons to stand out a little bit darker. Okay, so I'm going to use my sapphire yellow, which is the lightest yellow I have. Though I also have a jasmine yellow, but that is a little bit more sort of ooh, almost pinky. This one looks more lemony to me. So I'm going to use this to colour in all the liquid in the glasses. I'm going to do it quite pale. Um, I will... Um, potentially add some more layers of colour later but the Arteza pencils layer down quite a heavy layer if you're not careful so I'm just doing it lightly and it's just going to give me a little bit of guidance as to how much colour I need on the rest really. Now I'm avoiding the ice blocks because although they would be coloured because they're under the water, um, under the lemonade, sorry inside the lemon, I'm just going to leave them for a minute. <clears throat> we'll play with those a bit later. And I think this is a fairly challenging picture really because of all the see-through glass and different bits and pieces so I thought it would be a fun one to do. I'm now going to grab this yellow which is actually the lemon yellow. Now what I want to do is on the lemon slices, we've got three here, you would get a quite an intense lemon colour around the very edge and then a white bit of um, pith is what we call it. I don't know if it's the sort of common, if that's the right name. I'm going to sharpen my lemon yellow as sharp as I can. I'm just using my um, Stedler Norris Club. It works perfectly fine for this triangular pencil. <sighs> I've deposited bits everywhere. And I'm going to do a hard line. Oh, snapped it already all the way around. Trying to leave a little white gap before this second um, <sighs> line. It's quite difficult to do and um, it may not even show very much but I'm attempting to do it. <sighs> there we go. Now the inside of the lemon piece is also fairly vibrant but I want a mix of colours so I'm going to grab the lighter yellow that we used for the, um, for the liquid and I'm just going to do a layer could have gone over it when I did the liquid really but I wasn't thinking about what I was doing I hadn't planned it fully and then I'm going to get this darker one the lemon yellow and I'm going to make some lines through it they may not be very visible because lemon the yellow tends to blend all together when you look at it I find that unless I look at it really close you can't see but I want them I want the lines to be there it will just look to you like it's yellow I should imagine so that's that now these segmenty bits would normally be white and this bit not black so we'll go over those in a white gel pen later now the liquid now is too pale what I'm going to do is I don't want it as dark as these pieces but I want it a bit dark on the edges so I'm using the pencil on its side so that I can just get a little bit of colour out of it and I'm just going to emphasise the edges. Be careful here because it's very easy to get it too dark. And then I will darken it up with the 
sapphire yellow. I'm just going to put those away because I'm not using those. And I'm just going to darken the whole thing again with this. So go over in a darker layer now. So we want it to stand out. We want to see that it's yellow. We want to see that it's lemonade, that it's a different colour to the ice and to the glass. Now, as I said before, ice being in water, in in lemonade, you it would look yellow. But uh, I don't think it... If we colour it over in yellow, I'm not sure it's going to look very ice-like. But... Uh, so I'm going to do it in a pale yellow. So I'll show you in a minute. So, of course, that bit's sticking up, so... Just a light, a light amount. The same on these. Next, we're going to do this strawberry. I think we've got a strawberry red in this set, which would be now we've got a tomato red and a true red and a wine red. So I'm going to pick these two. This is the tomato red and the true red. You can see they're different shades. I'm going to use the darker one first and a little bit of the lighter one, which is the tomato red. So I'm going to start with the darker one at the bottom here. And then fade that up a little bit. So put a lighter touch as we go up. Hopefully you can see that's darker at the bottom. And then take the tomato red. You can do this with any two shades of red, just a darker and a lighter. Slightly pinker ones might work better, but I've got to go with what I've got. And ta I'm taking it all the way up to the top, so there isn't any white. Or just a little bit. Now we need to do those little um, um, tufty bits of um, green. And I'm looking at my greens. Um, I haven't really got the perfect colour. I'm going to use this forest green. It's quite dark. Oh, sorry, the boiler's making quite a noise again. So I'm just doing the same even colour through that bit because it's very small. It's fine. Now, the straw. I quite like the idea of doing a stripy straw. Now, red and white is pretty cool, but we've got the strawberry that's red. So I'm thinking maybe blue instead. So I'm going to grab a blue. I particularly like this denim blue, but you could use any blue. I'm just going to sharpen it, and I'm going to add a stripe onto the straw. I know some of these other pictures have got stripy straws in. They're quite small, but I think we can manage. You don't have to do it stripy if you don't want to. Now, you have to remember that when it's under the... Um, when it's under the liquid it would actually distort the pattern on the straw but I'm not being too fancy about it I'm just um, making it like that I think it looks a bit more interesting with the stripiness and see the handle of the jug and the main part of the jug is all quite plain but we're going to add a little bit of grey just to show a bit of shading on it this is the lightest grey so you just need a light grey and start here just draw a bit of grey towards the centre and it gives a bit of a shine and the same under here at the bottom of the handle okay, even though it's glass it would um, it would um, sort of catch the light a little bit and have some shade. And you'd also get some on this part as well. Now we could take this shade here all the way down. I think it would look more realistic. Not that this is going to look realistic in any sense, but we did try and make it a little bit darker on that edge anyway and I'm just going to take that to the middle a bit and we can do the same on the glasses so a little bit on the bottom and then on the edge I can hear my children upstairs they're making a 
Minecraft YouTube video. I reckon. So be careful when I go back up, I don't disturb them. Right, so now we're almost done, but we need to add a few highlights with um, white pen. I've brought my collection of white pens with me. Now I've got the number five, which is really thin. I'm gonna have to scribble with it first because it blocks up. And what I want to do is work on these lemon slices. So I want to whiten this line. I don't know how well this pen's gonna work. It's getting there. And this bit. And then do the same with this one. It hasn't totally blanked it out. It's faded it down a little bit. I did want it to erase it. I think I'm going to have to use a thicker one. The thin nib on the number five is a little bit teeny. So this is number eight. And it will be better. I'm going to start up here. I need that to dry a little bit. It should hopefully be better. The 10 is the best for letting out lots of um, paint because obviously there's more space because it's a bigger nib. But when we need to do more precise um, work with it, you need the smaller nib. I'm also going to go across there. That one. And then I'm going to think about the ice. Now I want it to look like it's a bit shiny in places so I'm going to erase bits of the black line and hopefully that might make sure I don't put my hand in the pen that I've used hopefully that might look a little bit like it's shiny and we're going to do um, a few marks on the glass as well to try and give the illusion of shine. I'm going to use my number 10 now because I want a big splodgy amount. Very precise term, big splodgy amount. So what I'm going to do is actually try and put a white line up the side here and one down here. It doesn't show up massively because we're only writing on yellow and then down the glass there and there. And they can do a little bit on the bottom too. That's oh, clogged up, hang on. Some brands of white pen don't clog up so much. It all depends on how, um, on the brand. A bit here and here, maybe a line down there and there. There we are. So there's our lemonade jug. Now we do have these lines, all these dots and lines that Johanna's given us. Could go over that in white to make it look like reflection, but I actually think it looks better in black. It sort of gives the impression there's a bit of movement going on in the glass, in the jug, as if it's just been stirred or just been poured and popped down. So uh, I'm going to leave it like that. We are going to do a little bit on the strawberry. I think we'll just do a tad there shiny strawberry. I probably could have done with a thinner pen for that one but never mind. So there we go, our lemonade um, done with the Arteza pencils. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, do, do remember that if you want to be informed of, um, notified when my next videos come out, if you hit the subscribe button and the bell, then uh, you'll get a little notification when the next video appears. So thank you so much for watching and happy colouring.